We are dealing with 11 million human beings who are, in, who, are, who are here undocumented, the vast and enormous majority of whom have come here in pursuit of what all of us would recognize as the American dream. That was Republican Senator Marco Rubio back in 2013 calling for a path to citizenship for undocumented immigrants. That was then, but this is now. This week, the senator attended a GOP fundraiser in South Carolina and was interrupted by a group of protesters who called him out for abandoning an immigration bill he himself sponsored last year. Jose, and we are dreamers from the state of Florida, and our senator wants to deport us. Senator Rubio, you don't stand with Latinos. Latinos stand with dreamers. Senator Rubio, stop flip-flopping with our community. We are here, we are here, Senator Rubio, came all the way from Florida because you want to deport us. Security escorted them out as Rubio lectured the protesters from the stage with the crowd cheering them on. You're doing harm to your own cause. They're harming their own cause. Because you don't have a right to illegally immigrate to the United States. The Univision Network aired footage showing one activist being grabbed by, grabbed and shoved by an elderly attendee before being escorted out. The Republican Party is hardening its stance on immigration, demonizing immigrants, and trying to punish young men and women who were brought here as children. No wonder President Obama is prepared to do what he can through executive action to correct this injustice. Joining me now is Maria Teresa Kumar and Jamal Simmons. Thank you both for being here. Thank, Thank you, you Reverend. Maria, after claiming they wanted to be more inclusive as a party, can Republicans move any further to the right on this issue? You know, I was there when Marco Rubio unveiled the comprehensive plan that they'd put together with bipartisan support, and he was saying all the right things that the vast majority of Americans believe. What he's doing now, unfortunately, is trying to rally up the base for the midterm elections and fails to remember that Americans, we have a long-term memory. The fact that he is not celebrating the fact that these young people are putting a face to the, inju the injustice of not passing comprehensive immigration reform is shame on him because it, it takes a lot of courage to do what these young people are doing. They're coming out of the shadows. They're saying, we want to participate actively in America. We want a social security card because, you know, what? this is the only country that we know. You know, Maria, uh, this week an immigration activist confronted GOP Congressman Paul Ryan for voting to end DACA, you know, the uh, Deferred Action Program allowing immigrants That's who right. came as children to stay here. Watch this. A couple of weeks ago, you uh, signed on. Uh, you voted for a uh, DACA. Uh, yeah. funding DACA. Well, it's a constitutional one, right? It would put me and my sister at 50 deportation. And um, we just had a question. Do you want to deport me and my sister? Thanks, guys. Have a Thanks wonderful Thanks for coming. Read it. I appreciate it. We read it, but do you want to deport me? No, no, read the petition. Thanks, guys. Do you want to deport me and my sister? I want you to read the book. If I could have you. Actually, read your book. Just answer the petition. Pick up. One, two, three. Okay, got it. Now I'm not going to leave questions. So, so Paul Ryan doesn't even want to talk about immigration, literally, Maria. Well, because I think that, again, what they're trying to do is a short-term plan to rally up the, uh, the, the base for the midterms, but that is not a long-term strategy. And the Latino community is not going to forget when it comes to 2016 elections for president. The only way that they can win the White House is to have the Latino vote and not even engaging in a conversation with a young man who's being respectful, saying, look, this is, this is the face of the undocumented DACA. This is the face of a young person that wants to contribute to our economy, that is proud to be American, and you're not even giving him a shot. It basically shows that you're not ready not only to deal with the, the bigger issue of immigration reform, but you're not even willing to have a conversation with someone that is saying, look, all I want to do is work and participate and give back to America. You know, you know, Jamal, this program has had a real impact on undocumented immigrants. The Deferred Action for Childhood arrives, uh, uh, the, those arrivals ha have allowed 550,000 undocumented workers who came here as children to stay in America, 550,000. This is important legislation that the Republican Party is trying to repeal. I mean, how can they even justify this? 
you know, Rev, as uh, Maria Teresa just said a second ago, it, it is amazing to me that the Republicans have, have still refused to try to find a way to reach out to the upcoming majority of American citizens um, that, that is much more diverse. So when you add up together uh, African Americans, Latino Americans, Asian Americans, uh, 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 college students, you know, young people, you start to add these numbers together, what you see is a rising majority of Americans who all think one thing in particular, that you can't discriminate against people based on who they are or where they come from, and we ought to find a way we are enlarging the American democracy, not shrinking the benefits of American democracy, but the Republicans are so captured by this one small segment of the American uh, electorate, this Tea Party segment, that they just cannot free themselves from this, and I think it's going to cost them in the upcoming elections. You know, earlier this month, President Obama promised executive action if Republicans fail to act. Watch this. Even though they've been sitting on a bipartisan immigration bill for over a year, House Republicans suggested that, since they don't expect uh, to actually pass a bill that I can sign, that I actually should go ahead and act on my own to solve the problem. Keep in mind that just a few days earlier, they voted to sue me for acting on my own. And then when they couldn't pass a bill yesterday, they put out a statement suggesting I should act on my own. Now, now you know, the White House has said that we should expect executive action by the end of the summer. How will Republicans react to that, Jamal? Uh, I think the Republicans will be just as hypocritical at that moment as they've been at every single moment. Because the only thing that seems to unite them is opposition to Barack Obama. So if Barack Obama says the sky is blue, then they're going to say the sky must have been green or the sky must have been red. Because if Obama's for it, they have to be against it. And the same thing will happen here. They want the president to go out and do something about this, but the minute he does it, they're going to turn on him and say that he abused his power as president. Maria, and what would be the response? from this huge Latino voting bloc if, in fact, there's a real aggressive fight by Republicans against the president doing anything, DACA or anything else. There is a reason why Mitt Romney received the lowest voter turnout when it came to the Latino community and why he didn't have a chance at the, uh, he didn't have a shot at the White House last time. And that's because he promoted self-deportation that not only did not pass muster among Latino voters or Asian voters, but all of the allies. Immigration is broken. Every single American can agree to that. And they're trying to find a way to find solutions to the broken system. And denying folks, basically, who have been here 25 years or more, the opportunity to become full citizens, but have been contributing to their tax dollars and their hard work to the American dream is not only unconscionable, but it's also a threat to our national security and to our economy, because we don't know who's living in the shadows. And unless we actually have an opportunity to do so, and that's one of the things that the executive order provides is temporary relief. At the end of the day, though, we still expect Congress to come out strong. And that's the only time that you're going to be able to see Latin, the Latino vote up for grabs. They have to resolve this sooner rather than later. Maria Teresa Kumar and Jamal Simmons, thank you both for your time tonight. Thank, thank you, Reverend. Reverend.